welcome back to B's G Lounge. Today's cigar is going to be the V554 camshaft flathead box press. This cigar is from CAO, great company, so I'm really looking forward to dabbling into this one. Should be good. So this cigar here has a mix of notes, flavors of spicy, spicy sweetness, cocoa, black pepper, and hints of earth. It's a full body smoke, so let's see what happens. Okay, so it's a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper on this. The uh, color is a nice chocolatey brown. The oils are coming out very nice on it. It's looking good. Perfect. So let's talk about the band. This is pretty neat because the band, actually this whole cigar is inspired by hot rods. So on the band is a picture of an engine and in the middle of it, it has the flathead. Just below the flathead is the 554. Above the flathead is CAO, the name of the company. It's really cool looking. It's got, yeah, it just looks like an engine. Looks like an engine. It's silver and black, so everything stands out very nice, very pronounced. Awesome, awesome label. Get some extra points on that for being pretty badass. I like that. Cool. So keeping with the hot rod theme, with this line of flathead cigars, their other cigars are also named from engine parts. So you've got the piston, you got the camshaft, which is this one here, you got the carb, you got the big block, and you got the spark plug. So that's kind of neat how they did that, named all the cigars after engine parts. So the box that the cigars come in is also inspired by cars and hot rods. It's covered in automotive paint, which is really, really neat. Um, the lid of the cigar box opens up like the hood of a car. And you can also take that lid off, hang it on your wall, and it's a cool piece of art. I wish I had one myself. Actually, I wish I had them all from the whole line. I think that would look pretty cool in this lounge here. Hopefully one day, we'll see. All right, so uh, I think we'll move on to, uh, let's get the cigar cut up and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna use a V cut again, it's my favorite, on this box press. So let's see how the cut turns out. Wow, Whew. so that initial light up was very powerful, had a nice punch to it. Wow, to me it's very, very spicy. Getting a lot of spice from this. I see where the black pepper comes into this too. Very peppery and spicy. So far so good. The draw is nice on it, very smooth, easy to draw on, excellent. All right, so now I'm a little bit further down on the cigar here. Um, the draw is still good. I'm getting a lot of the pepper and the spices still. I'm getting the earthy notes. Yeah, I'm loving this, this is great. What comes to mind is the uh, very first John Wick movie. And in that movie, to keep with the theme of hot rods and stuff, he drives a Mustang Boss 429, which is, I think, actually the 69 Mustang Mach 1. It, you hot rod aficionados out there would probably know the answer to that one. Anyways, yeah, I mean, it reminds me of Keanu Reeves and John Wick. That was a pretty badass movie. Love all three of those movies. If you haven't seen them, what's the matter with you? I mean, those movies are just quality, excellent, pretty cool. All right, cool. Let's smoke a little bit more of the cigar and uh, 
see where we end up. It'll be the ash might fall when I take the band off. Or do you, you, you're looking for that. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to, to mess up, nah, set me up. <laughs> yeah, when I was five, I used to wear a size seven shoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna take the band off. Let me get this off. Normally the heat from the cigar kind of helps you take the band off, loosens up the, uh, Loosens her up a bit, makes it easier to come off. There we go. That's nice. Got that off. That's good. Let's keep her right there. Nice. All right. All right. So now that I'm halfway through this cigar here, the draw is still very nice, very smooth. The pull on it, not too tight, not too loose. Yeah, it's looking good. The ash seems relatively tight. Looks uh, kind of wonky, but that's probably just me from passing it back and forth in my hand here. Getting along at, oh shit. Rookie move. <laughs> Damn, all over the table. Anyways, I did that last time too, I think, in my last video, but uh, Pretty sure you guys will get a good laugh at that one. I know a couple of you cigar aficionados will, uh, will get a kick out of that. But anyways, it happens. So anyways, let me keep popping this and we'll see where we end up. And the, uh, the vibe I'm getting from this smoke is, for me, 80s rock music. I'm getting uh, Kickstart My Heart um, by Montley Crew. The album is off of Dr. Feelgood. Hope I'm correct on that. Yeah. So, so Lauren here, he's getting the vibes of Lil Baby. Um, the song he's picking up off of is something. What's it called? Um. Some, some to prove, something to prove. That song from him, I guess it's a good tune. I trust Lauren; he's got good taste. Something to prove. That's maybe a little bit more relevant. <laughs> All right, so we're finishing up here, and uh, the smoke is a very smooth, bold smoke. I would probably rate this. I would have to give it a nine. I think it's uh, it's worthy of a nine. The flavors were great. The construction of the cigar was perfect. The draw was amazing. The band, the whole theme of the hot rods, all that was pretty badass. So yeah, this was the Flathead 554 from CAO Cigars. Go ahead, pick one up, pick two up. See if you can get a box. Like I said before, you can display it as art. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. If you guys wanna reach out to me, my Instagram handle is 8loud underscore B. Like, share, and subscribe to Creative Concept. And again, this is B's G Lounge. See you guys again. Take care and cheers.